Coast Guard today called off a search for three South Bay area people involved in a midair plane crash. Teams have combed the waters off San Pedro looking for the victims. The planes took from took off from Torrance Airport and collided near the Point Furman Lighthouse. CBS 2's Greg Mills reports now the focus is on finding the victims' bodies. And she just said yesterday, it's too pretty a day. I got to go out and fly. And uh, that was that was the last time we saw her. His wife Mary was killed in the small plane midair collision over the ocean yesterday. She she loved to fly. That was her. The two men and the other plane were killed as well. All three flew out of the Torrance Airport. The mood among pilots here today very somber. Discouraging, and a lot of a lot of people are down today. He saw what happened on a radar internet site. I sort of think that maybe at the last second they saw each other and try to avoid it, you know, but uh, it looks like it went the wrong way. The Coast Guard gave up the ocean search this morning. Divers and sonar equipment are being used to try to find the wreckage. Jim Gates is a pilot and friend of Mary Folstrom's. He saw her here at the airport yesterday. I just saw her taking off, so she would have gone out to the practice area. Pilots told us this is a pretty popular area for practicing. Practicing stalls, practicing aerobatics, but with four small airports feeding into this area, it gets pretty congested. Some of those airplanes travel two miles a minute, you know, so in, in the space of a short period of time, they can be on you and you don't see them. Many pilots here rely on their radar screen and traffic avoidance system. My airplane has a gadget that says traffic, traffic, you know, and a little red thing comes on the screen, and then you say, oh, we better turn somewhere. He's not certain if Mary's plane had that. Mary loved to fly. Rich was the uh, normal one in the relationship. We were married, been married 24 years and several years before that. In San Pedro, Greg Mills, CBS 2 News.